In this section, we're going to be looking at some of the tools that we have available in Xcode in order to debug our views. Sometimes we need a visual tool in order to know where the app is required to be optimized and also having a visual tool can help us to see exactly what the app is doing in real time. This is why we have access to some view debugging tool in Xcode. The first tool that we're going to be looking at is called the View Hierarchy Debugger. The View Hierarchy Debugger allows us to see all our view in 3D mode. We'll be able to get a deeper look into all our views. Sometimes you have a view that is covering another view. By using the View Hierarchy Debugger, you'll be able to hide the top view so that you can have a look at the layers below them in the hierarchy. Let me show you what I mean. We have this view controller with three buttons. But this particular button has a constraint error. As you can see that we are pinning the top. So if I should run this program, you can see that we have the constraint error in our debug area. So what I want to do is I'm going to add two more layers on top of these three buttons. So let me bring up the object library and I'm going to search for UI view. Drag the UI view on top of the three buttons and increase the size. We want to make sure that we cover the three buttons. So I'm going to add some constraints on all sides. I'm going to add another UI view inside of this particular view. The one at the bottom, I'm going to set the background color. Let's set the background color to a green color. And this particular one, the smaller view, I'm going to set the background to a black color so that we can differentiate between our views. So now let me run the program again. So we have our view showing, but we're not able to see the buttons. Previously, what we did was to change the background color of the buttons that was giving the constraint error. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Let me copy the memory address of the UI button that's giving us the constraint error, copy. And then I'm going to pause the program execution so that we can have access to the LLDB. So what I will do now is I'm going to now write an expression to change the background color inside of this bracket. So we want to cast the button to a UI view. We are casting this particular button to a UI view and then I'm going to set background color. I'm going to set the background color to the same color that we did previously, UI color, and that will be yellow color. So once you write the expression, remember to press the enter key so that the expression can be executed. And then I'm going to continue the program execution we know that the background color of that particular button has been changed, but we cannot see it because the button is below other views. This is why we have another tool in Xcode called the View Hierarchy Debugger, which is this particular tool on top of the debug bar. So if you go on top of the debug bar, you can see this particular option here, which says Debug View Hierarchy. So let's click on that button and it's going to take us to a different view. Now we're in the view hierarchy debugger. By moving your mouse, you can see that I can see my entire view in a 3D mode, which is really cool. All I'm doing is just dragging on the scene here. If you want to increase the space between your object, you can use this particular option here. If you drag it, you can increase the space between all your objects. As you can see, this is very cool. In fact, this will tell you one information. You can see that the label here, which says uh, show VC is actually on top of the button. So these are the three buttons. You can see the buttons that we just changed the background color to a yellow. So that shows you that every button has a label on top. Whenever you set a text on a button, you're actually setting a label, which is also part of that UI button object. So this is the view that we added, which was green. And this is the second view, which is black. This is the button. You can see that by using the view hierarchy debugger, we are able to see more information. We are able to see our entire view in 3D mode. If you select any particular uh, object in the 3D mode, you can see some of the information. You can see the button that's causing us the problem, which has this memory address, which is the same memory address that we use here to set the background color to yellow. You can see more information on it, uh, such as the shadow offset, you can see uh, the layer backing. In fact, you can see the color, the alpha, you can see the entire property of the button. This is the UI window that contains the view, which is the main view. 
and then we have three buttons on top of the name view but the most important thing is using this 3d mode to actually view hidden objects that are below other layers so let me also show you this particular option this particular option allow you to adjust the range of visible views so if you want to hide for example the ui window you can just drag it from here and you will see that the ui windows is hidden and you can also even hide the main view so the more you drag it towards the right the more layers are hidden so i can move this one around now now i am only dealing with the buttons and the two added views so the same thing you can do from the top here you can hide the black view and then hide the green view now we are left with just the three buttons so this is really really cool it's very useful there are some other options as well this particular one allows you to orient to a 2d or a 3d so if i click on that it changes to 3d if i click on it again it goes back to the 2d view now there's other options here which allow you to show constraints so if i click on that it will show me the constraint on any selected object so we'll show you all the uh, constraints on it so if i click on the constraints i can see more information about the constraints and stuff so you can see how useful this particular options here so if you need to see your object in 3d view and also to debug your view in a lot better way it's really when you have multiple views on top of one another then this is a very useful tool to use whenever you have an app which has multiple views on top of one another if you want to get a better view what is going on you should always use the view hierarchy debugger in this video we look at the view hierarchy debugger 